Welcome back everybody. This is the part two of the Christmas tree tutorial. If you watched the first tutorial, I showed you how to do this and how to mask out uh, all the areas here so you can get the highlights and the shadows. Uh, this was a quick video. If you haven't watched it yet, uh, you should watch that one first, then come over to this one. Uh, in this one, this is the original. We're just going to be working in the original file today. And uh, I'm going to show you how to kind of do the bulbs. I'm going to show you how to do these light string bokeh ball things, like all this in the background. And uh, I'm going to show you how to duplicate the trees, uh, change your color up a little bit, and blur them out if for the depth of field. So first thing you want to do to get the Christmas bulbs is uh, you want to go to your symbols here. And if you don't see your symbols, you want to go into View, Studio, and then Symbols right there. And uh, all we're going to do is drag some bulbs out and position them where we want. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So obviously just kidding, but I did want to start out with a uh, the symbols first. Usually I do them last, but uh, uh, I wanted to start out with that first. So basically, just so you guys know, uh, anything you guys do, you can make symbols and that helps quickly uh, populate the rest of your your. Uh, art project. So I'm going to show you how to do symbols first this time real quick. Uh, we're going to make a star symbol. So uh, the star is just two layers. I'm just going to select the star and I want to do create. And then now all I have to do if I want to do stars on these other trees is drag it out, size it, and uh, that's all there is to it. Just kind of position it on here. So uh, also, another thing about star uh, symbols is once you make one, um, they're all affected by whatever you do to them. So if you change the color on one, you're going to notice that they're both going to start changing color. So uh, that's also a good thing. Same thing if you did all these Christmas bulbs and you're like, you know, I don't really like the blue uh, scheme. You can just switch it up. No problem. Uh, now this I'm going to want to put in this layer because we have a little blur on it and there's some color changing effects going on. Uh, I'm gonna drop this one down and I'm gonna throw a star right there. And that way it's blurred out with that layer. So uh, skipping ahead a little bit, switching it up this time. Let's get now into how to make the bulbs themselves. And they're going to be very similar to the trees. And that's why I kind of did the, uh, the symbols first. Um, because the bulbs are like kind of along the same lines as the tree. So let's start a new vector layer and we'll kind of bring that down to there. And we're going to make a circle. Uh, let's do it right here, holding down the shift key. So let's make a little bit bigger of a bulb this time. And uh, let's just do, let's do a red bulb here just so it stands out good. And we're gonna wanna keep that up to 100. Let's kinda make it right around that shade. Should be good enough. So we wanna kinda go with the middle tone so I'm kind of right now, I'm kind of looking for what this color is going to be. Um, and I actually do want to shrink it down just a bit. So then what I want to do, so I want to go down here. I want to duplicate this by hitting Command J. And I'm going to go to the bottom one here. I'm going to move this up slightly and kind of size it up just a little bit. This is going to be the, the color here. So then I want uh, the color behind it to be a little bit darker. So we're going to kind of go, oops, let me command Z that. This one, I'm going to want darker. And we're going to take this. So we want to mask this lighter color into the darker color. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it into this layer. And what that's going to do is it's going to mask out this layer with this layer. So now we have that kind of a uh, little swoop there. So now all we need to do is 
let's just go here and we're oops yep let's just go here make another layer and we're gonna go here we're gonna go down to like a real really really light pink and we're gonna make the highlight and then we're gonna move that up um, we're gonna duplicate that and now I'm gonna make that white and I'm gonna shrink that down and this layer I'm actually gonna go low on the opacity until it looks like it's just kind of a small highlight and then maybe size it out just a little bit okay and then all there is to do is um and that you know now that i'm even looking at that some of them have that you know what that's actually from the next step so i didn't even put that highlight in but uh feel free if you want to add just a little bit more of a highlight like a specular to do that but actually uh that is not part of what we did and then i'm going to take this and go lighter on the opacity and so now that matches this bulb a little bit more so sorry about that guys and then all we got to do is we're going to go down to this and we're going to make a little piece there i'm going to put it on top of this I'm going to close this I'm going to make this a gray and put the, oh, the transparency up and then I'm going to drop this behind it. Careful, being careful not to drop it into that layer uh, underneath it. And then I'm going to close that up. And we have one last thing to do. We're going to take this layer as a whole and I'm going to apply an effect to it. And the effect I want to apply to this is going to be the outer shadow. And I'm going to want the radius. I'm sorry. I'm going to want the offset to come out probably about there. Uh, the intensity I want kind of as a middle. And then the radius is going to be the, uh, uh, you know, how much blur it has to it uh, for this. We don't really want blur just because of the style of it. And I'm just going to keep it right about there. And we're going to close this. We're going to zoom out. And we're going to select this layer, move it around a little bit. And there we go. So that is how to do the Christmas ornaments. Now I already showed you guys how to do the star. Uh, so now what I want to do is show you guys uh, another little trick to kind of duplicate these, blur them out and uh, uh, kind of give a little bit of perspective here. I'm actually just gonna turn these off for a moment, show you what I did. All I did was duplicate this, Command J, or again, you can go up to Edit and Duplicate. Um, then I'm gonna move this out, and maybe we're gonna scale this down a little bit. Just something to differentiate it a little bit and I'm going to drop that behind this layer and now what I want to do is I kind of want this to be a little bit different shade of a tree like so not quite the same color we're going to go down here to the adjustments and I'm going to go down to an HSL adjustment which stands for hue saturation and luminosity and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of start playing Whoops, I'm sorry guys. That was not on the right uh, layer. So if you did do it like that, make sure you drag it into the tree layer. So it's there. And then now it's only going to affect this layer here. So as long as the adjustment layer is in that layer, it's only gonna affect that layer. If you wanna do an overall adjustment, which I have here, I did a curves, then you can put that on its own uh, layer. So with this one, I'm just gonna kind of drop the color. I'm gonna drop the uh, 
luminosity a little bit. Maybe go up a little bit with the saturation. Okay, good. And let's move this one kind of out here. We're going to duplicate this, Command J, and drop this behind. And then I'm just going to move this out here. And because we duplicated it, we already have the uh, hue and saturation layer. So I'm going to double click that. And I'm just going to kind of keep playing with that. And that looks good enough. So now the final step is going to be to give this a little blur. So we're going to click on the whole layer here and we're going to go to the effects and we're going to go to Gaussian blur here. And now the closer something is, the less blur it has. So we're just going to kind of bump the blur. Let's go with four here. And then the tree behind it, yep, is going to be Gaussian blurred. Probably I'm guessing about double that. So probably about eight. So, and there you have it. That's how I set up the Christmas scene. And uh, you guys got room up here for Merry Christmas. Uh, the last touch I almost forgot. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do these um, lights real quick. So let's get a new layer. Let's put it up here. And this time we're going to make a pixel layer. Now, the reason we're going pixel is because there are vector brushes in affinity however you don't have um when you double click on a vector brush you don't have as many options as you do with the pixel brushes so for this we're going to use a pixel brush and i might as well just delete that bulb so let's go ahead make up a, a pixel layer and i think that accidentally made it in there so let's put that above there um, now, because we have a pixel layer, we're going to go to the pixel persona and uh, we're going to click on a brush here. Now we have a dynamics tab, which we can play with. And a gen we just have way more, as you can tell, even in the general, we have way more um, things to play with. So what I want to do is I want to take the spacing and I want to get that out pretty good. Um then I want to go into dynamics and I want to do a size jitter and a little bit of a accumulation jitter, uh, probably not flow. Then we want to do a little bit of a scatter, not too much on the scatter. And then that should do for this. Um, so we're going to close that, go to the brush. And let me, let me turn off the other layers and I'll just show you guys how I did this. First, let's go to the bokeh layer on the back and uh, let me make a new pixel layer here and let's get that above that. And uh, basically, um, for this, I, I wanted like a hard line, so make sure your hardness is hard. What I'm doing is I'm holding the alt control and then going up and down and then left and right will make it bigger. So that's that's what I'm doing here. Um, let's get about there and then let's make this. If you hit number five on your keyboard, that's going to drop your opacity down to five and you can go about there. We're just going to kind of start drawing in here and actually five is even way too... Let's drop that down to even, you know what, let's go down to 2%. So pressing the number two. And we're just going to kind of go in with just different sizes. And uh, just kind of start making dots here. And then even this is looking um, a bit, this even has a lot of opacity in it. So we can even go down into this. I'm even going to go down to one, one, which would be 10%. Kind of throw some more small lines in here. And uh, even on this layer here, we're still even going to go down even lower. Because the bokeh, you really want just a really, really light background with that. So we're going to drop that down to about 40% there. And uh, that's how you do the background. 
And I would suggest doing the background first. That way you kind of get a feel of, uh, of it. And then for this, we're just going to kind of go like the same way uh, lights on a tree would be. Kind of just drawing them in, go a little bit bigger with the brush, kind of go over it with a little bit smaller. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. And just kind of take your time and uh, get some lights in there. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit today. And uh, make sure you give me a subscribe. I got some more videos coming out. And uh, I will see you guys next video.